This is Elidir. I'm probably going to upset some people with the wrong pronunciation, but that's the best I can do. She's named after a mountain in Snowdonia, and I have to say, she, she's in absolutely tip-top condition. She was built here in 2000, well, she completed in 2004. She'd been in the same hands since she was launched, and she has been so well looked after. It's rare you see a boat of this age that's so well cared for. She's 57 foot long. She's got a, she's a traditional stern. She's got a built by G&J Reeves and fitted out by Stowhill Marine, as I mentioned. She has a Gardner 2LW. The paintwork, she was repainted in 2013, but absolutely pristine. The engine room's in there. We'll obviously have a closer look as we go through. There's an amazing contraption on that exhaust chimney there. I'll show you that a bit later. Gleaming paintwork. There's a side hatch here in the galley with a roof hatch. There's two side hatches in the engine room. Pole hook and plank on the roof there. The cratch cover's in very good condition. And they're the typical Stowhill bows. Beautiful shape. Two gas bottles in the forward locker there, 3.9 kilos each. There's a changeover valve on that. The well deck's a nice size, four foot nine inches long. There's a drop down table. Bumble's come back to say hello. Glazed cratch board. It's quite nice and light in here. Little storage locker there, and there's also the guts for the bow thruster under there. The bow thruster's a noble nine horsepower. That table just folds up and hooks up when you don't want it. Glazed front doors. And in the boat we go. She feels lovely. She fitted out in light oak with oak trim. The saloon itself is 12 feet 10 inches long, so it's a very good size. There's a L shaped couch here. There is a, a gate leg table for the dining table. The storage underneath and it turns into a double berth as well. The stove's in very good condition, more so squirrel. Storage under the front step there, and there's the view into the well deck. There's a half wardrobe here with a mirror. And next to that, some shelves and a cupboard here which houses the television. It's an 18 inch cello, TV, DVD combo. A little cupboard underneath. Oh, Bumble. He was one last Sunday, Bumble. So we had a bit of a party. There's the dining table I mentioned. They're great, those tables. I had one myself. You can put them on the towpath if there's room. Shelves on, under the gunnels. And this cupboard delineates the saloon from the galley. There's a couple of collapsible director's chairs in there. So they're quite useful for the well deck or the towpath. There's the view down the saloon. Lovely woodwork, the fit out, I must say. It's carpeted through most of it, makes it feel quite cosy. On into the galley, 5 feet 11 inches long, there's a side hatch with a roof hatch there. Cupboard under the gunnels here. Some steps under that side hatch if you need to get in or out. Stainless steel sink, cupboard, sorry, couple of cupboards underneath. Bumble needs to check that they pass. And there's a cutlery drawer here. That other drawer's a false one. It's a Vanette four burner gas hob oven and grill. The worktops in here are laminate, and there's some cupboards and shelves up here. And I suppose that's, I don't know, tea towels or magazine rack or something there, and a little cupboard there. So everything you need in here. Head height actually I've not mentioned on the boat, six foot four in the centre, it's reduced in the engine room. <laughs> Let's pump while he's gone out and having a look back in. All the lighting apart from a couple of bulbs is LED. That's a fridge, it's a 12 volt inlander, there's an ice box in it. It was open just so it doesn't mould up. There's a couple of glass screen or perspex screens on the boat for the side hatches. And this is the bathroom, the sink's ceramic, a ceramic, it's a Tecma macerated pump out loo, there's a heated towel rail in here. Nice shower cubicle. There's a cupboard and a couple of shelves next to it. There's a light over this shower cubicle. It's tiled. There's an extractor fan in the ceiling in the bathroom in here as well. Let's so run into the bedroom. The bed itself is six foot two by four foot. It's a fixed double. The loo tank and the hot water tank are under here. There is storage at the foot of the bed actually under this, under the bed. 
There's a cupboard up above the head end with some reading lights and a nice little inset shelf there for cups of tea or something. Nice little dressing area, I suppose, here. There's a mirror, shelves behind it. Bank of four drawers. And there's a wardrobe next to that. Floor to ceiling. The bedroom itself is eight foot six inches long. Sorry, that's my hand now. I was just telling Bumble he's about to jump on the bed. And then we go to the engine room. It's a lovely rear cabinet. That's a Gardner L2LW. That was built in 1967. Spent its life up to 99 in South Africa as locomotion for the gold mines. And it came back and was fully rebuilt in 2003 for installation in Elidir. It's in lovely condition, serviced every year. All the electrics are housed in here. There's, a, there's an inverter that's brand new. Five year warranty, it's a Victron Multi Plus compact inverted charger, 1600 kVA. There's a galvanic isolator in there as well. Another wardrobe here. And this stove is lovely, isn't it? Well, it's not a stove actually, <laughs> it looks the part. It's just a storage box. It had me fooled <laughs> at the start. I think it's brilliant. Storage under the steps and on the other side. There's the bow thruster controls on the instrument panel. There's a decent sized cupboard here for bits and pieces. And another one next to that. They didn't see the need for a proper range in the back here. The boat, boat is centrally heated by an Eberspacher diesel fired central heating system. Runs through fin rads down the length of the boat. And that towel roll of course in the bathroom. Now here's that trick with the chimney I mentioned earlier. If you're going through tunnels, it's on a spring, that pulls it down and that one pulls it back up. That was designed by the by the owner, it's an ingenious bit of kit. Traditional speed wheel and push-pull gear change. And back through the boat we go. Water tank 730 litres, water's heated by the engine and immersion heater or the Eberspacker. There's 180, at three 180 amp hour domestic batteries on board, one starter and two bow thruster batteries. Lovely boat. I mentioned she was fully repainted in 2013. She was last blacked in 2019. And the engine, as I think I mentioned, has been serviced annually since launch. Absolutely lovely boat, this. For further photographs, a fully downloadable colour brochure and the price, go to our website, www.rugbyboats.co.uk, and that's Ellie, dear.